All right, so I've uh, been wanting to get my hands on this thing for a little while. It's um, the Aeronet CO2 um, monitor. It's just a CO2 sensor, um, but it's got like a cool e-ink display. Let's see. Um, it also does temperature, relative humidity, and atmospheric pressure. Um, but really, I think um, the, the thing that originally caught my eye is just how it looks. So inside the box, it's got like a little quick start guide. Um, but if you've read any indoor quality articles for the past couple of years, you've probably seen it. Like visually, it's a cool little deal. Um, it's pretty lightweight. Looks like it's got a little mounting uh, thing on the back and also comes with a battery. So I'm gonna get this thing set up and see what it does. So I said battery, it comes with uh, two batteries because it takes two um, AA batteries. You can kind of see inside there. Um, there's some little dip switches and maybe some kind of calibration function. I obviously have not read the quick start guide yet, um, but this little thing on the front, um, peel off a little plastic and put the batteries in and we'll see what happens. Uh, okay, so battery's in. There's a little red light shining on the back, I can see. Oh yeah, it's starting to do some stuff here. So far, just a logo. Let's probably check the uh, the quick start guide. I'll put the back back on. It just slides off, slides on. Oh, it's doing more stuff. Whew, CO2 um, showing kind of high. Maybe I'm breathing on it or it needs to calibrate. We got 72.6 uh, degrees Fahrenheit, 46% relative humidity. Um, so if that visual indicator at the bottom, it's right in the middle there with yellow. So let's see if there's anything else I need to hit in the quick start guide. Yeah, put the batteries in. Um, it's got some info here on air quality. It's given me, a, you know, good is 420. Um, for outside, and then good inside is 420 to 999, so 1,000, uh, it turns yellow, and also your brain cognitive function decreases by 15%, according to this paper. Then um, above, if it gets above 1,400, it turns red, and that's where your cognitive function decreases by 50%. Um, might have to fact check that one. Um, but yeah, it has a little guide on the quickest way to lower the CO2 level inside is uh, open a window or turn on your ventilation and it gives you something on temperature and humidity. So the, the little indicator at the bottom is just based on um, the CO2 level it looks like. And it is not impact resistant. Don't leave in direct sunlight. Uh, they gave, looks like this little tool on the inside here to um, flip those little dip switches. You can change the CO2 calibration um, to auto calibration only after carefully reading this manual. So right now it's manual calibration. Um, there's a Bluetooth connection to an app, so we'll check that out. And uh, if you have the pro version, there is a, a little connection for the a base station that you can get as well. Um, I wanted to have the non-pro version because my hope is to actually like take this around with me places and uh, and backpack it a little bit and check CO2 levels in a variety of places. So um, that's the quick start guide. It's pretty nice. Uh, nice little document so yeah let's fire up the app and um looks like they have some other little devices here too which are i'm not super familiar with but yeah let's fire up that app and uh see how it goes so here is the mobile app i'm gonna add a new device pair it with the bluetooth here and there it is, super easy to add. Um, there's a couple settings that you can modify here um, within the submenu of the app. So you can check different indication modes for your CO2, um, adjust those levels as needed. Check out the um, calibration mode there, again, CO2. And change the units, so, and language, if you're so inclined. And in full screen mode, you can actually change the theme, so it's almost like a little dashboard view. 
and then there's uh, trending, which since I just set it up, nothing's uh, available yet in terms of trending, but you can trend all those different parameters. And here is that dashboard view. It's a cool little app. All right, so uh, in conclusion, uh, for now, I think, um, yeah, kind of a bare bones little device. It mostly um, just does CO2 temperature, humidity, the pressure things interesting too. Um, doesn't do TVOC or particulate matter, but that's not really why I wanted this. Uh, I'm just gonna nerd out on different CO2 levels everywhere I go, pretty much. Um, I'm at home now, it says 879, but you know, it's like a hundred year old house with no mechanical ventilation. So I wonder how that compares to uh, my other sensors here though, now that I say that. Okay, so comparing to other devices, um, upstairs in the bedrooms, which nobody's in, um, 600 in that room, 639 in that room, 600 in, in that room, so. Um, yeah, I don't know. Well, could be um, not that far off. I think next I'll probably try to um, open up some windows and see what that looks like. So, to be continued.